then we remarry. Yes. Yeah. Then my we, gosh. We we, we have I a am marrying my ex husband. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Any yeah. shed light on that? And, and, um, <laughs> I think marriage has its own complexities, mm. and it's as different as the two individuals that uh, come to it. Mm. Oh, sensei, I feel like I'm giving <laughs> marriage advice. Mm. Um, yeah. So that reunion mm. uh, happens. Mm. Was it December 30th? Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm pregnant mm. with <laughs> with our second child. Mm. I am sick throughout, like has been even with my previous uh, pregnancy. Mm. I'm sick throughout. So mm. you actually plan the whole thing for that and more marriage advice, please. Put your money on the till number below. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Down yeah. here. In between there, mm-hmm. uh, some ladies and myself begin an initiative, an initiative called uh, Project Baby Shower. Mm-hmm. Because after our first children, mm-hmm. we learned Wala. And they, that's why it's a reason it's called womanhood or motherhood. Mm-hmm. Because you don't go to it by yourself. Mm-hmm. It's with a bunch of people. Mm-hmm. With a hood. Yeah, with a hood. <laughs> <laughs> and in the course of, I think, is it two, did it go for two years? Mm-hmm. Um, we impacted like direct impact was like to 300 uh, moms mm-hmm. and then i realized yeah i love this field about maternal health mm. uh because i think it was preparing me for something mm. else mm-hmm. and i do uh, in that process uh after our son is born mm-hmm. um i take a course on lactation mm-hmm. and i'm a certified lactation specialist mm-hmm who thought breastfeeding is an art and a science, mm. you know? Mm. And I realized I'm finding so much joy in just mm. helping first-time moms mm-hmm. uh, transition and, you know, to this new new role, you know, mm. breastfeeding techniques, mm. complexities, mm-hmm. you know, all those things that, 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 that come with uh, breastfeeding. Mm. So I am doing that, mm-hmm. uh, training moms, mm. uh, doing home visits mm. uh, for moms. Then our second uh, born comes. Mm. And Yani, I totally switch off because mm. um, it was a cesarean uh, bath, mm. unlike the first one. Mm-hmm. So I think my body just went into shock. Mm. Um, I'm grateful because then there was community around me. Mm. Because if I was not, I think maybe, I, I don't want to define it as such because not really, mm. but there was a segment of maybe postpartum depression. Mm. Because I know how to raise a child from a normal bath, mm. <laughs> not from a cesarean section mm. Mm. and now i am here before i had my my mother supporting me mm. now i am it mm. it's me and the mm. uh, the the house uh, mm. girls mm. at home mm. uh so that was a very different uh, season mm. uh but it molded me it molded mm. me in just learning now mm. what I was teaching maybe as head theory mm. is now mm. practical, practical. Mm. it's practical and going through it so mm. i'm grateful for a lady called josie mm. josie karaoke mm-hmm. who just opened me up mm. to this uh maternal health field mm. breastfeeding um arena and i've met wonderful people mm. uh there's an association called the kenya association of breast feeding mm. and it has specialists and experts that mm. are willing and mm. ready mm-hmm. uh to to offer lactation health mm. Uh, we have doulas in there. Mm. We have postpartum doulas mm. who will carry you. So mm. I realize I'm more passionate being a postpartum supporter because mm. I, I don't have the paper and mm. Kenyans love papers. Mm. So I have done that in my journey. Even mm. today, I still do it. I'm glad to work with mothers zero to 12 months mm. uh, of their new babies right. and see how that mm. how that goes mm. yeah mm. so that opened me up to uh, maternal health mm. Mm. i got an opportunity to get uh, certified as a life coach mm. Mm. so now that has also opened dynamics mm. because mm. i think as mothers sometimes you feel a life stops mm. the fathers or the the, the the fathers of the children their life is going mm. on mm. You, you it has to stop because of you have uh, your three months maternity leave mm. Then you're like, okay, no, to go back to work, you have to go back to work. Bargain for flexi hours if you have a good company. Yeah. 
So people get lost and mm. then you ask yourself, mm. why am I here? Mm. So a lot of marriages don't thrive during mm. that time. Mm. Mm. Uh, there's a desire to, especially if you you bonded or for whatever reason you feel you need to be with your child, mm. career changes mm. happen. Mm. Or some women just for whatever special reason mm. abandon motherhood and uh, delegate that mm. because they want to do career. And there's nothing wrong, wrong with that. that yeah, yeah. Mm. because I think women were built for systems. Mm. We are system oriented. Mm. And uh, I found myself coaching a lot of mm. uh, moms mm. in that season. Mm. And I'm grateful mm. because mm. It, it, has, it has grown mm. in its own mm. way. Mm. The coaching has grown mm. in its own way. So... Mm. Yeah, mm, yeah, mm, that is something I'm mm. happy about. Who, who where, where did the certification for uh, the life coaching happen? So, mm. a very wonderful mm. couple. Mm -hmm. So they do it under like a missionary um, agreement. Mm -hmm. They are missionaries in Kenya. They've been around for a very long time. Mm. Dr. Les and his wife uh, Twyla Brickman, mm -hmm. wonderful people. Mm -hmm. So if anyone is looking for coaching, again, you mm -hmm. think mm -hmm. you're going for coaching for those guys, mm -hmm. but I found myself, mm -hmm. the coaching was for me. Mm -hmm. You know, what habits do I need to change for mm -hmm. me to move on? Mm -hmm. Where have I been stuck that I need to get unstuck? Mm -hmm. So I find myself, even in tough situations, mm -hmm. It's very easy to coach myself, mm. self-coaching. And it's mm. a thing. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, you know, when you say, you call yourself for a meeting. For a meeting, yeah. Self, mm. now, I am here. you know, mm. I am here. Mm. And you're able to jump a certain obstacle. Mm. And if you still find here you're stuck, then mm. now you get into a coach. So anyone uh, needs to do that coaching is mm. welcome. I think the details mm. will be here. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a life, literally a life transforming mm, experience mm, mm. so one thing i must say about sure. that mm -hmm. and i don't know maybe the feminists will throw stones mm -hmm. is that you gave me permission mm. to be a stay-at-home mom mm -hmm. i think as a kid grew bigger you kind of had oh you know you maybe felt the pressure mm. but you allowed me that and i think now when roles are slowly reversing mm -hmm. are you not enjoying that I stay. No, just say it for the camera. No, the, the, the kids are, <laughs> have had the most fantastic foundations. So yeah. For sure, that is yeah. that is important. And I mean, those were initial conversations that we had and yeah. agreed upon. You yeah. know, so it was it was the most amazing and lovely things to do. You yeah. know, uh, and if I think organizations would allow both parents to to do it. I think that would be... And maybe that's one policy I really want to push. Yeah. Because even three months is not enough. Yeah, yeah. You're raising a whole human being. I wouldn't want it different. You know? <laughs> yeah. I would want... Let's talk six months, if not seven months. Yeah. Because... I hear.